welcome to my channel my name is Damaris Michelle I'm super excited about this video because this is my first video of me actually talking and interacting with you guys because all my other videos are me just doing my hair and kind of taking you guys step by step like what I do in the process so I'm super excited about this video for you guys to get to know me and then you're gonna get to know my hair journey can you believe it's been eight years? I have been on this natural hair journey for eight years. I mean, I can't even believe it's been that long. I went back in my, um, I went back in my photos because I couldn't really remember what year I started my natural hair journey. So shout out to Snapchat because I was able to go all the way back and collect all my photos and videos that I have of me documenting my journey. So I started, so I've technically been natural since 2016 natural going from straight to curly but i stopped perming my hair if you want to be that technical with natural i have been natural since like 2010 2011 i had stopped perming my hair and then from that point on my hair was natural um i was just straightening it so it was like heat trained i wasn't into the whole curly look yet you know because back then it was all about having super long um, straight hair I might insert a couple of pictures so that you guys can see what my hair looked like back in high school and so you can kind of see what I was working with when I did start my hair journey it wasn't until my first year of college that I decided to transition into having naturally curly hair and let me tell you guys it has been a whirlwind in my photos that I'm going to show you guys it can get confusing because when I tell you my hair was all over the place fluctuating you're like wait a minute wasn't our hair just red wait a minute wasn't our hair just blonde wait wasn't it just long like I am literally was doing the most with my hair and it's absolutely it's ridiculous it's absolutely you're gonna be pissed off because you're like why would you do that to your hair like your hair was so healthy so so beautiful and then you go and do that so I put together a collage that I'm gonna show you guys and I'm gonna take you guys through each year of what my hair looked like from when I first started my natural hair journey because what I showed you guys on my YouTube short that was from my big chop I that was my second big chop I've done two big chops and the one that I showed you guys was my second one and that's pretty much it and then I don't want to say too much because when I take you guys through the clips, I'm going to be explaining to you what I was doing to my hair, why I was doing to my hair. Thank you guys for watching. Again, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. So I'm going to let you guys, we're going to get into the video. Okay, so this was me back in high school. I don't remember what grade I was in, but that was my hair straight. And then this was my hair curly. This was me attempting to go natural I started wearing twist outs and this is what my twist outs looked like in the beginning to me my hair looked so good but when I look back I'm like hot mess um this was what my hair looked like as I was slowly trans transitioning um I was learning how to style my hair and make it look cute make it work and y'all this next photo tell me why I caught myself trying to do a wash and go this was my wash and go <laughs> This is just more photos of me tracking my transition and my hair was not damaged. I just want to clarify, it was heat trained. I took very good care of my hair when I was wearing it straight. Um, but of course, over the years, that's what it's going to look like when you're transitioning into curly hair. There were times like this that would frustrate me so much because this is when I was like deep conditioning my hair and this is how my curls would look. And I was so confused because I'm like, why won't my curls look like that when I wear it in a twist out? But I didn't understand at the time, of course. Um, so now we are in 2017 and this is what my hair looked like. More um, definition to my curls. It was still a hot mess, but again, I was still learning how to do twist outs. At this point, I couldn't take it anymore because look at that. I couldn't so I chopped it and I was okay with chopping it because right after this I put my hair into protective styles but look how much healthier my hair looks when I cut all that dead stringy hair off this is just a protective style that I wore over the summer and here is when I did my first big chop I said you know what what the heck with it I decided to just cut all my hair off and I did it again also because I knew I was going to be putting my hair into this hairstyle that didn't last me very long but it was cute um, more protective styles because my hair was at a length that I was very uncomfortable wearing it out I didn't un embrace that side yet um, but this was like a three-month hair growth it did really really good 
Um, this was my hair looking super, super healthy. And I could not believe that I was able to get my hair into a puff. But look how cute my puff looked. Now we are in 2018 and I was looking like somebody's grandma. Like, And again, I'm so sorry about the... Um, the filters. Sorry about the filters. Snapchat had me in a whole chokehold. I just could not get away from um, the filter. So half of my videos are going to be with me with a filter on my face. <laughs> warning you guys now. Another high puff for the win. I was so happy and I was one year into my big chop at this point. After that, I continued with protective hairstyles. This was me so excited about my definition because this was with no product in my hair. I was so happy. This was me with the twist out. Twist outs were my best friends. And y'all, look at my mom looking younger than me. Here, I had box braids in. And then after I took the box braids out, this is what my hair was looking like. I was just, look at that. Look at that length. Look at that healthiness. Look at that thickness. Woo. And this is what it looked like when it was straightened. Um, my flat iron sucked. I had a chi flat iron and those flat irons are terrible. At least the one I had was. But this was my hair blow dried and flat ironed. This is just a picture. I mean a picture. A video of me being super happy about my hair growth. It's looking real dry. But I was just too hyped about the growth of my hair. Then this was the end of 2018. Uh, I had my baby in October and I had my hair in box braids. Took them out, had a puff, and then I went ahead and I did my first lace front, y'all. I will never do another one again. <laughs> this was after I took it out. I think this is like the healthiest I've ever seen my hair, even to this day. Like, I just look at the thickness. I haven't been able to get back to that. I don't know what I was doing, but... My hair was amazing. And you know, of course, I had to do a length check. So that's what I was doing. And look how thick and beautiful my hair looked. Ugh. And that was right after a baby. Usually your hair don't be looking that good. It be falling out and all that. Um, here, I attempted passion to his hot mess. Here, I attempted my own braids. Hot mess. <laughs> but I was trying, y'all. I was trying. This was my first closure. And I love closures. And yeah, I wore that for pretty much the whole summer. And this is where I learned that just because it's a protective style, that doesn't mean it has to stay in your head for months at a time because then your hair is going to break off. This was after the protective hairstyle. And then this is the downfall, you guys. Boom. So this was for my birthday and I wanted something different. I wanted change. I really wanted my hair red. But they told me in order to get my hair red, I had to bleach it. And I wasn't ready to bleach my hair. So I don't know what the salon did, but it was not red. And I wasn't really feeling this color because look at it. It looks a hot mess. They did not do a good job. I was really, really disappointed. So, of course, I took matters into my own hands and I decided to bleach my hair. Why I did that, I don't know. Am I a professional? No. Did I know anything about coloring hair? No, but I went and did it anyway. Although I took a big risk bleaching my own hair, it came out pretty good. It came out so cute. This was like my favorite color I ever did on my hair. And I actually do miss being a redhead, but I am not coloring my hair anytime soon. And if I do color my hair, I'm going to a professional. So at this point, I'm just enjoying being a redhead. I did not dye my hair ginger, it was the filter, and I was obsessed, and I was actually tempted to switch my hair to this color, but I didn't because I had literally just bleached my hair red. I did make sure that at this time, all my products were geared towards colored treated hair, so down to my gels, my deep conditioners, my shampoos. So I think that played a really big role in my hair actually staying pretty healthy throughout the process of me um, coloring it red and bleaching it. My hair was growing out at this point. I didn't color it. It's just the red had faded out and I was actually liking the little bronzy look. And then I went back and dyed my hair and look how long my hair was. My hair was doing so good and it was so healthy. Look at that ponytail. Y'all look at this, look at this buffoonery. 
what was I thinking? I was trying to go from red hair to pink hair and I went from red hair to orange hair. And on top of that, I fried my hair. I ended up bleaching my hair and it looked a hot, hot, stinking mess. Then at this point, I was trying to fix it. And what did I do? I went to the store and bought toners. Do I know anything about toners? Absolutely not. And look what it did to my hair. My hair is pieces of pink, pieces of it are orange, pieces of it are brown. Look how damaged my hair was. Like, why would I go and do something like that after my hair was so healthy? So healthy. I got color happy. Even after I was talking to myself in the video, even I knew I messed up. Look at that. I couldn't even take myself serious because what was I thinking? So here my hair looks healthy, but it was so damaged. This was me straightening my hair from the last video that you guys saw. I had put toners in my hair. I don't even know what toners I used. And then this is the color I got. Straightened it. I thought my hair was okay because look at the length. I was happy. And then when I went to go wear my hair curly again, my hair was so stringy, I couldn't take it. I had to cut it off because I had thick hair at the roots. And then when it got towards the end, it was like two strands of hair. I'm not even exaggerating. It was so bad. So I just chopped it off. This is like half of a big chop because I still had a pretty decent length hair. So after that, I ended up straightening my hair. Why? I don't know because my hair was in no shape to be... Um, straight in with all that heat on it and then what did I go do you guys I didn't learn my lesson I went and bleached my hair again because I wanted red and I dyed my hair red I ended up putting my hair up because I had my engagement photos and I couldn't have red hair in my engagement photos and then guys look what I did again I dyed my hair black I after I bleached my hair to get it red I went back to black because I graduated and I said you know I can't go to job interviews with this bright red hair so after that, I just put my hair up because it was just done. It was it was so damaged. And I did braids. I put um, a weave back on. And then this is what my hair was looking like afterwards. My and then I bleached my hair again. Look how dry my hair. My hair was so stiff and dry in this picture because my hair was just like so done with me. And then what did I try and do? I tried to color my hair. <laughs> I hate myself for this I tried to color my hair again because I wanted like an ash blonde look and this is what I do I didn't learn my lesson not the first or the second time not the third time like and then I had to big chop my hair because you saw what my hair looked like it was half broken off and then the other part of my hair was just hanging on so at this point, I was too dumb with myself because I had to cut so much of my hair off. And I was like, you know what? This is it. I'm going to take my natural hair journey serious this time. I'm not going to get color happy. I'm not going to get scissor happy. I'm going to leave my hair alone. I'm just going to let my hair do what it does best and grow. Okay. So from that point on, I have not put any color in my hair. I actually threw out all my stuff that I had bought to... um bleach my hair to uh, box dye I had so much stuff I threw it all out because I'm like I'm not going through this again so for the rest of the video from 2022 till now you're gonna see that I did mostly protective styles in my hair especially during the summertime that was actually my wedding hair you guys I loved it and let me just throw something out there before this video is over I knew how to take care of my hair, you guys. Clearly, you guys saw from the beginning, I was doing a really good job with taking care of my natural hair. I eventually learned my hair and I learned what worked for my hair. But I got bored and so I had this mentality that it's okay, it's hair, it's gonna grow back, I'll just cut it off and start over. And that's exactly why I ended up doing two big chops. If you guys take anything from this video, I hope it's that when you color your hair, you go to a professional and you do not try to do it yourself. Just go to a professional, pay the money. It'd be worth it. And it's okay to color your hair as a natural as long as you are going to take care of it. It is okay. But again, go to a professional. And that is my natural hair journey for the past eight years. If you guys made it this far, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on the video. 
If anybody else has any crazy experiences during their natural hair journey, drop it in the comments. Again, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Oh, wait, 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 really quick. Look how good my hair looks. I'm so proud of myself. I haven't colored it. I haven't cut it. I'm just letting it do its, do its thing. All right, that was it. That was all. Have a, see y'all next time. Thank you.